Let's get right to KPIX 5's Andrea Borba for the very latest. Andrea. Well, Ken, Liz, it is lights out on the federal government. As of two hours ago, it is no longer being funded. Only 50 senators voted for the spending measure passed by the House, falling short of the 60 required to proceed. A Senate vote to fund the government through February 16th failed. The motion is not agreed to. Private discussions continued on the floor even after the midnight deadline came and went, but to no avail. A government shutdown was 100 percent avoidable, all because Senate Democrats chose to filibuster a non-controversial funding bill that contains nothing, not a thing they do not support. Democrats were holding out for a comprehensive spending bill and a deal to protect DREAMers brought to the U.S. illegally as children. Minority Leader Chuck Schumer said his earlier meeting with President Trump looked promising, but the president later backpedaled. He walked away from two bipartisan deals including one today in which I even put the border wall on the table. The White House has branded this the Schumer shutdown, and in an official statement, Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders called the Democrats obstructionist losers. A Washington Post-ABC News poll found most Americans blame President Trump and the Republicans. Louisiana Republican Senator John Kennedy says no one looks good. Many of my constituents have uh, have felt for a long time that our country was founded by geniuses, but it was, it's being run by idiots. Now, we are still waiting to hear what the president has to say or tweet. Now, a partial shutdown won't affect much in the early hours of the weekend, but it could ultimately force national parks and monuments to close, as well as the Centers for Disease Control. Passport and visa processing will slow down or stop, and hundreds of thousands of federal workers will be furloughed. What's not affected? Law enforcement agencies and the military stay on duty. Social Security and Medicare will continue to operate, and the U.S. Postal Service will keep delivering your mail. Federal courts also remain open. Now, during the last government shutdown in 2013, the iconic Cliff House restaurant in San Francisco was forced to close. That's because the privately owned restaurant and bar is on federal land. We can only imagine that if the shutdown drags on, it will be forced to close this time, too. And we checked with Alcatraz tonight, which is operated by the National Park Service. A ranger told me they'll be open during the day tomorrow, but not for night programs. Beyond that, they are still figuring it out. In the newsroom, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5. Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi tweeted, tonight on the eve of the first anniversary of his inauguration, President Trump earned an F for failure in leadership. East Bay Congresswoman Barbara Lee tweeted, make no mistake, Republican dysfunction and incompetence has led us to this Trump shutdown. The GOP controls every branch of government, and they can't even keep the lights on. And this from Senator Kamala Harris. The shutdown was avoidable. The White House created this crisis, and the GOP leaders in Congress refused to negotiate with Democrats. We must pass a bipartisan solution to fund the government, guarantee health care for millions of children, and protect dreamers. Americans expect and deserve it. So what do you think about what's going on in Washington right now? In our exclusive KPIX 5 survey USA poll ahead of tonight's shutdown, we asked, should Democrats link the government funding bill to the DREAM Act, if doing so might cause the federal government to shut down? The results pretty much dead even. 41% of Californians said yes, 41% said no. We also asked who's to blame. 44% think it's President Trump. Democrats and Republicans in Congress each got 22%. The poll surveyed 500 adults across California.